Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show how to export or download the data in different formats with different methods. Let's see. Log in to your personal instance. Now, for example, now I want to download incident data. Okay. For example, if I go to incident table and click on all incidents. Okay, so there are 76 records. I want to download all these 76 records in the format of Excel. Okay, then what we need to do, I can click download, right click on the uh, field. There are. Click on the any field header. Okay, and click on export. So uh, now you can see the options Excel. PSP, XML, JSON, under PDF, we have different varieties of PDF, okay, and export set also. You can create an export set, okay. So, uh, this export set uh, I have showed in another video. Uh, please watch it and the link in the description, okay. So, you can download, for example, if I want to download Excel, I can click on Excel. So, uh, export in progress, export, okay, export completed, and you can click on download, just download. Okay, and if you open the file, so you can see uh, the number of columns Okay, uh, the number of columns is equal to the number of columns in the list view. Okay, the same columns. Okay, if you want the additional columns in the list view, you can add by clicking on gear icon. Okay, uh, for example, I don't want all this. I don't want only number, active, short description, color, priority, state. I don't want all this one. Let's remove it and click on OK. Okay, now you can right click, export, Excel. Download. Okay, and uh, when you click on the Excel file, you can see now uh, number, active, short description, color, priority, and state, only these fields. Okay. Uh, so if you want extra field, you can add by uh, personalizing list view. Okay, so in that way you can export into Excel, CSV, or any type from directly from the incident. Now, for example, uh, I want to download from reports. Okay, uh, if I have reports, go to the reports. From reports also you can download. Okay, view or run report. open any uh, list uh, for example if i open the active incident uh, list report okay from here also you can uh, directly right click and click on export excel okay or csv or xml or any format okay you can do it and also you have an option called uh, export to pdf but you, here you don't have the option called uh, export to excel or something else from the report okay to download from the report also you need to click on the right click here and export excel okay So, and sometimes if you want to uh, send this file, this Excel file to the uh, to any emails or okay to any email address or to um, uh, any group email, okay, you can share. You can, I mean, uh, you can schedule this report. Okay? 
Okay, for example, uh, click on the schedule report. Okay, uh, so this report active incidents it will become. So you can select the users or you can select the groups or you can add the email address of the users which you want and subject of the email and body of the email you can add. And the same uh, when to run like daily or weekly or monthly or periodically. So you can set and you can set the time and you can save it. So then whenever this, uh, this time next then this scheduled email will run and then send this excel file okay and also you can select the type like which file like pdf or excel or csv uh, okay you cannot uh, uh, send as a json or xml file okay so that is the only difference you can you can you can only send only in pdf excel and csv file or you can zip out also okay so you can include with another report also. For example, if I click on include with, uh, if you have any other reports scheduled, so with that email, uh, you can include the other report also, and you can trigger, uh, you can execute this one, okay? So in that way, you can send the uh, uh, files as an Excel or PDF to email addresses, uh, okay? You can also download from URL also. Let's see how can we download uh, from URL. For example, if I want to download all the incident data in Excel format, okay, from uh, URL, how can I download, okay? Uh, so remove this, uh, let me duplicate it, okay? Let me duplicate. So in San Diego, we got like a now, now, UI, something, okay, and I remove it. And at the end, okay, add the question mark and, and type Excel in cap, okay, and hit enter. Okay, so now uh, the incident is data is downloaded. Okay, for example, if I want to download uh, only active incident, then what we need to do is, uh, uh, okay, just uh, uh, okay, go back. Um, okay, uh, remove the URL. Click enter and show matching. Okay. And at the end, okay, remove all this one and and yes, yes. Okay. When you click on Excel, it will download only uh, this 49 incident. Okay. For example, if you want to download in PDF format, then type PDF in character okay pdf so you got in pdf okay the same way if you want to download in uh, json format or xml format you can download okay uh, you can download the data okay from the url also. okay this url will help you for example um if you want to give access to the end users from the portal to download uh, create a button and in that button, you add this link, and then uh, whenever the users click on this link, and it automatically download the URL data. Okay, uh, this is how we can export the data from ServiceNow. Uh, uh, from I mean, from all the tables, not only the incidents, from all the tables. In this way, you can download the data. Uh, and also, for example, uh, if your data contains more than ten thousand records okay like uh, 30,000 or 80,000 or 1 million okay or uh, uh, 1 lakh records okay uh, if you want to download all this data uh, 
So you cannot download that data, okay? Uh, because of the properties it is set, okay? Uh, for now, uh, go to the um, click right, right export uh, the filter navigator, and you can see system on the system properties import export. Click on this one. Okay, these are the export properties. Okay, in the CSV format, what is the row limit? Or what is the gas set? How many gas set are usable? This is the default value it is set. This is 10,000. Okay, if you want to increase to uh, 10,000, okay, uh, or 1 lakh, 100,000, you can add it. Okay, same like XML format. I mean Excel format dot Excel okay Excel format dot Excel Excel XML, XML format how many data they got how many rows you can export maximum you can add it okay for now it is like ten thousand records okay for the uh, performance issues uh, uh service now added only ten thousand if you want uh, if you have a situation that you need to download thirty thousand or twenty thousand then you need to come uh, here and add the uh, value like 20,000 or 30,000, whatever the value, and download the data and uh, change back to 10,000 again. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is about export. Um, in the upcoming videos, we will see how to import the data. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.